All right, welcome. We are live here at West Washington High School here for tonight's uh, varsity basketball contest between the West Washington Senators and the Christian Academy. I believe it's the Warriors or it Crusaders. Is. It's or the Warriors. Warriors. Warriors, Warriors. I thought. Yep. I, I, I didn't know if I was getting that right or not. But uh, anyway, Christian Academy coming in to West Washington here tonight on homecoming night here for the Senators as we'll uh, have a little report on that here in a minute. But uh, Christian Academy coming in, just three losses on the year. The Senators coming in at 6-11. and 11. And, uh, of course, uh, the Professor Craig Eckers was with you on Tuesday night down at Borden as uh, the Senators ended up losing that game by 10, but uh, tight game pretty much yeah. throughout the first part of the game. I caught you there late uh, after I was uh, got off work. but uh, The Senators played really well at Borden like for, the, for the first three quarters. Um, did a really good job of containing Kasem Nash, which is a, a handful in itself. Yes. He had, I believe, four points going into half. Um, ended the game with, I believe it was 20. Um, so that second half, he just kind of got away. The Senators faced a 1-3-1 trap from Borden, which Doc Nash has put in, and it's just it just caused fits for the Senators. They weren't able to really get anything going. They um, you know struggled even to get into their into their offense because they had um, their their super athletic kid. I forget his name, 31, um, but he uh, he just caused havoc out on the top of that, and the Senators couldn't get going at all. Yeah, and, you know, that's kind of been their M.O. You know, we've, we've played teams pretty tight, and we've seen, like we've talked about, all the overtime games that they've yeah. played. You know, we, we're close with teams. We've really only been, you know, beat badly by a couple teams, and, uh, you know, they've pretty much been in every game. But, you know, once again here tonight, as we talked about uh, last time that I was on, you know, this schedule – a little tough here at the end, but <laughs> that's that's an that's understatement. It, yeah, I'm trying to be <laughs> nice about it, but anyway, uh, a tough schedule for for the Senators here coming up uh, to finish out the season before sectional play. But uh, I think that's a good test to get ready for sectional yeah, play. You, you've exactly got to right. play well to beat these teams, and you know they found that out at Borden. You can't play three and a half quarters and expect to win. You, you've got to play a full game, and uh, we just haven't got to that point yet you know we haven't really seen uh, a full game I would say the Paoli game early on yeah that was, was a, a we've, about we've as full a game as they played all down year. until about the yeah. last seven seconds yeah <laughs> and then just a, a prayer at the buzzer yeah basically went in and, and Paoli got the win but you know this team's capable I guess that's oh, what yeah. I'm trying to say yeah. they're very capable but they just have not been able to get over the hump. and uh, Well, and they're going to play the underdog role yes. the rest of the year, oh, even yeah. going into sectional. I'm not sure that anybody in our sectional really wants to draw these senators. Well, and that's that's true. They're very dangerous because when you get into sectional play, we have nothing to lose. Right. No, nobody thinks that, you know, the senators are probably going to come out of that sectional uh, and make any noise in it. But, uh, you know, this is a team right here, Christian Academy, a uh, uh, a very, very good, very athletic oh, team. Yeah. <laughs> Two players, uh, the Renfro kid, number number, number one, one. Yeah. just a really good player, and also David Cook. Uh, but they've got some other pieces as well. And uh, you know, 16 and three on the year. They've only lost to some really good teams: oh, Evansville yeah. Christian, which I think is still undefeated. Southwestern Hanover beat them early on. Um, and they're, I, I think, Providence. They made, and Providence. Providence was yeah. their other loss. So those are, you're exactly right. Those are, you know, some some really good teams um, that they've been beat by. And you, you hit the nail on the head. They go kind of as Renfro goes. Um, and then when you stop Renfro, Cook comes out and, and can really light you up. Um, I know in their last game, they put they play um, – they played last night. They played tonight. They played Tuesday. So this is their third game oh, wow. um, this week. Um, and I know last night it was number uh, – uh, Was it 32? Yeah, 30, 30, I think it's 32. Had a, had 12 points last night coming in off the bench. So, um, you know, they're they're kind of dangerous no matter no matter who they've got on the floor. But mostly it's Renfro and Cook. Those, those are the two that the Senators have to stop. And, you know, our two seniors, Kenton Chase and Ian Rosenbaum, are going to be the ones that draw that um, assignment tonight, stopping their two best scorers. Yeah, and, th and that's going to be a tough task. But, you know, we got to come out, play a p complete game here, be ready to go, not let them, uh, 
you know, dictate the pace a little bit. From what I remember, they like to get out and move oh, yeah, a little they're bit. Gonna, they're going to want to get up and down. They're going to want to run. You know, we're going to see if Christian Academy, you know, gets it their way, we're going to play this game in the 60s. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They, they want to move the basketball, whereas the Senators probably be a little more comfortable in the high 40s. Yeah. So, uh, you know, hopefully uh, we'll be able to dictate that pace because if we try to run with them, uh, you know, might be in for a long night, but hopefully, uh, you know, the centers can come out here and compete well. We mentioned that the, tonight was homecoming night, so the Senators, uh, the actually the 60th anniversary yeah. of the homecoming <clears throat> celebration here, which is which is huge. I mean, and they've got a list in here. Is your name in here? No, anymore? I what didn't. What about I Jess? Didn't, was I didn't she ever the homecoming here. queen? No, I don't she, believe she, she would be my pick for homecoming. <laughs> there we go. Queen. I think she should have been crowned tonight. <laughs> 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 there, See, I'm there was trying some, to get her there, involved. There was some royalty <laughs> that I didn't know. I didn't know Derek Sullivan was a homecoming king. I uh, sent a, a message to his wife. I didn't realize that she was married to royalty, so I'm going oh, uh, yeah. to have there's to talk to her about that one. There's a bunch of them on here. I see, you know, I look back into the uh, mid-'90s, Shelly Rosenbaum yeah. was the uh, homecoming queen in 96, 97. Shelly, uh, she grooms our dog. There you go. And, she's, and so – you know, it's it's just a, a, a big list of people here, but uh, 60th anniversary and tonight, uh, Titan Williams was crowned the uh, homecoming king, yep. and Izzy Guthrie, yeah, uh, the freshman, was uh, crowned the homecoming queen. Right. And, uh, just a lot of great kids here. Oh and, yeah. Uh, you know that any of them were are, uh, were probably uh, more to winning the uh, crown, but uh, those two come out on top here tonight. And that's that's one that's student body vote for that. Student body votes order. for that. Um, the um, cheerleaders are the ones that put that on, and they do a, a great job of, you know, putting that on. If you um, were watching earlier, our Roman camera run by Jackson Wiseman, he was covering all of that action, um, and you know they decorate underneath the uh, goal over on the visitor. I call it the visitor side. It's not really the visitor side, but it over is. there, um, <laughs> you know, and and do just a great yeah. job of that. And I know, um, you know, they look forward to this every year, getting homecoming, you know, here at home, um, you know, the last couple of games of the season. So great job by the cheerleaders um, putting this on. Yeah, absolutely. And they, they do it right. You know, a lot of places you go, you, you know, it's like five minutes and boom, it's over. Yeah. Um, which, you know, sometimes when you're getting sometimes ready it's to play, nice. that's you, what you when like. When you're on the road, it's yeah, nice. <laughs> but uh, when you're, uh, you know, they, they do it good here, do it upright and, uh, you know, kudos to those kids and, and our cheerleaders and the uh, cheerleader sponsors for putting on a great homecoming uh, here this evening. Um, you know, basketball coming up here, a lot of things going on. I'm sure you're going to be busy uh, out oh, here tomorrow yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow Tomorrow's regional is here. Um, first game is Trinity Lutheran and Wood Memorial. We've got that call. Um, we'll go live about 12.15 for a 1 o'clock tip. we got lots of pregame stuff to talk about allow people to get on the radio or get on the radio which we're broadcasting to along with live stream um, and then our four o'clock game is Linton Stockton versus North Decatur um, Linton Stockton is a team that the girls played earlier this year at right. Linton so I've got to see them play um, you know on on film quite a bit also the North Decatur it's a name that we that here at West Washington we've we've said a lot it's a football matchup oh, yeah, that we see matchup. you know regional week um, so they're here for regional, but it should be a great day overall out here with, um, you know, the regional being put on by West Washington. You know, we said that the cheerleaders do it right when it comes to hosting tournaments, hosting sectional, hosting um, regional. West Washington definitely does it right. You know, athletic director Darren Russell puts on a, a great show out here for the, the sectional and regional. If you're in the building and you're, you're listening to us, you know, the tables are already set up. Um, for the media, we've got um, one of the biggest covered regional games in the state. We have six radios coming in here for the, wow. that second game. So, yeah. um, you know, lots of lots of action here. Going to be a fun day overall. Um, you know, if you're looking for something to do, come out to West Washington and watch some basketball. Yeah, absolutely. That will be a great time. And that's a testament to you and the West Washington live stream program also be, to be able to do – uh, those games here and uh, you know people can tune in on the IHSAA network 
and uh, watch those games here live. And that, that second game, that's a 2A sectional. That's a 2A sectional. That's new this yep. year. They uh, try to keep things equidistant between the teams yes. um, so that nobody has a kind of a home court advantage. Yep. Um, so, you know, we're kind of in between all of those. Even though that we had Lanesville as our sectional here, we didn't get Lanesville back for regional. They're right. actually at Crawford County. I saw um, that. So, you know, that's, a, that's a, uh, a new thing this year. And then they will draw the semi-states – um, this upcoming Saturday. Big uh, big shout out to one of my friends, Heath Shanahan, up at um, the IHSA, the yes. director of broadcasting. He has a super busy week. If you don't if you don't know what all is going on in the IHSA this week, um, let me just fill you in. Well, right tonight, right now, is swimming and diving preliminaries. Tomorrow are, is the state finals. There is regional. There's regional girls basketball going on in 32 different gyms around the state, and then you've got wrestling yeah. um, in four different places, four mats at each place. So you're talking, um, you know, 16 mats yeah, of, of, of coverage there. So yeah. you know, tomorrow Heath is definitely, um, you know, <laughs> he he is stressed to the max with everything going on. He's got a state finals, four semi states. And 32 regionals. He's probably already in bed. <laughs> he's. You know, I, I, I messaged him earlier today, and I believe he's actually in Evansville because Evansville this year not only gets to host wrestling semi-state at the Ford Center, but wrestling state is at the Ford Center because of um, uh, Gamebridge Fieldhouse being the home of the – all-star game yes. next weekend. All-star weekend so, for the for the NBA. Yeah. So uh, IHSA wrestling gets gets kicked out of Banker's Life, and where do they go? They go to the Ford Center. Hey, the Ford Center though is a nice facility, oh, yeah. man. I love going yep. there for concerts. I think that's one of the best concert venues <laughs> there is. Give another uh, big shout out to my friend Dustin Bentz from Madison. He yes. does the uh, the uh, semi-state preview there for the wrestling in Evansville. If you need a, a food place to go, Dustin is the guy to talk to. He knows all he, the food. He, he, he puts them He puts them in the uh, <laughs> the the preview of where you should go to eat, what you should get, what <laughs> for, that's, that's great. for about 15 different restaurants <laughs> down there. Um, I had the privilege of doing a uh, sectional with Dustin and we talked about that quite a bit. So yeah, I need to give him a call. Yeah, he knows he knows <laughs> the Evansville area and he's got the uh, Ford Tough Locks there. Um, for the kids at semi-state, the ones that he predicts are going to get out, they're a, they're a lock of getting out. So that's awesome. um, big shout-out to him and all the time that he puts in, in in doing all of that. But tonight it's about basketball here at West Washington, homecoming night. Um, you know, Senators looking to get back on the winning side with the Christian Academy Warriors coming to town, um, Josh Renfro and David Cook. You know, that that's oh, kind yeah, of it's, the <laughs> it's going to be tough for, for West Washington here tonight. But – you know, these are that's why you play the game. So you you know, you gotta go out there and play. A lot going on as you mentioned, the homecoming prior. Then at halftime we got the oh, yeah, Washington the County Unified team gonna play yep. here, the uh, the Special Olympics team. Uh, so they played at all three county schools yeah. this year, so that's huge to see and those kids that's a great time. If you've never seen them play or been to any of their stuff, it's it's pretty cool, it's a pretty special thing and uh, glad to have them here in the house tonight as the senators return to the court here in the pregame warm-up. So about uh, three minutes away here from the start of this one as we'll have our national anthem and get into our uh, starting lineups here. I see Jackson Wiseman over here. He's still working that oh, camera. Oh, yeah, Look he's all him. over the place. I mean, I couldn't <laughs> ask for a better better guy to run it. I, I sent out the message to Mr. Wolf. I was like, who do you have who can who can run the, uh, the camera? And he said, Titan Williams and Jackson Wiseman. And Titan Williams, of course, is on the court. Jackson Wiseman uh, took over that first round of sectional and, and did an amazing job back tonight. He's actually going to be back tomorrow running it at regional all day. So, um, you know, big shout out to Jackson and, and, you know, for stepping up and doing that. Yeah, good to see those kids get involved in it too. You know, uh, that's what I like to see is the kids get get involved oh, in yeah. that part of it, you know, down the road. I mean, I'm not always going to be around. You're not always going to be around. you got a lot more years than I do. Well, I'm about done. I'm about ready to retire. I don't know that we're ever going to get you uh, off the air because, you know, you make it you make it super easy. I just get to sit over here and push buttons. you got to do all the talking. Well, I've always said I'm good at running my mouth. <laughs> Sometimes that's got me in trouble. But uh, uh, we try to bring the best we can. And I think, I think you know, your program here at West Washington probably – Second to none. I, I've I've been all over the state, and there, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good programs, but this one's really good for the live stream. And uh, 
you know, that's that's what we're here for, and we want to bring it to you, and hopefully uh, you enjoy the uh, broadcast here this evening as both teams back out on the court now. Christian Academy has made their return as well, so hopefully also, a good basketball game. Yeah, also don't forget, if you're not able to watch on live stream and want to listen, it's it's yes. on every, um, every phone out there now, I believe. I don't think you can get a phone without the App Store on it. Right. Um, you know, so if you go to the iPhone, the, the App Store there, and type in WWSR, it will load the, uh, the um, website that then you're able to listen to. Um, all the music, all the all the games, everything free. If you're an Android person, um, you know you can do the same thing through the Google Play Store. That the app is there, so it's everywhere. Right. If you um, don't have an app store on your phone, get a new phone and get in an app store um, so that you can do that. Or you can go to the school web page and it's on there, so you can listen. You know, lots of different ways. Yep, absolutely, and that's a it's a great program and a good way to get it out to those who can't make it to the game. So. Yeah. Uh, great to uh, have that uh, that ability in, in today's world of technology. So uh, we're just about 30 seconds away here from the uh, national anthem as we'll get that here as the uh, students uh, come out onto the court here We're tonight. actually going to leave our mics on tonight because I believe we've got the pep band yeah. playing the national anthem. They're well, signing it. I and think they're signing it? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's what they're doing. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out here in a minute. So I thought we'll, so too. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave our mics on so that you can hear. Okay. It, I believe it's I believe it's at least part of the pet band. I'm not sure who all over there is doing it. I think Daniel Miner and Aiden Miller may be playing guitar for so be cool. the the um, we'll, national anthem. A little so different gonna, rendition. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll take a break and hear that now, and then we'll come back with our starting lineups here on your home for West Washington sports, West Washington live stream, and WWSR. Great job by yeah. those kids on the guitar. Heck of a rendition over there. That's a great rendition here as uh, we're getting ready now for our national anthem, or our national anthem, our, our starting, starting lineups. <clears throat> so we'll have them here tonight as Christian Academy Warriors here tonight, coached by uh, Coach Hayden Casey. Brings his 16-3 uh, and three Warriors here to West Washington as they uh, have their starters here tonight. Number zero, David Cook, we talked about. He's a 6'4 uh, junior. We'll get to start for Christian Academy. Number one, Joshua Renfo, we talked about in our pregame as well. He's also a junior at 6'2. Number five, uh, Cooper Losey, the uh, junior uh, guard at 6'1". Number 32, uh, Nathan Doss, the senior guard at 6'2". And the final starter for them was, which one was 45. It? 45, yeah. Uh, I thought it was uh, Joshua Chancy, the junior forward. So now for the uh, Senators here this evening, as we get their starters announced here. At one guard, number 22, Kenton Chase. He's 5'9 and a senior. 
for Coach Jamie Cummings Senators here this evening. Add another guard. Number three, Jackson Cameron, also a senior at 5'11". That's he'll get the start here tonight for West Washington. Number 11, Holden Russell will be the other guard for West Washington, the freshman guard uh, holding at 5'11". At one forward, number four, Titan Williams, 6'4", senior, also the homecoming king. Yeah, big night tonight. for Titan. Yeah. And the other starter, number 12, Ian Rosenbaum. So four seniors and a freshman getting the start here tonight for the Senators. So we'll put Cameron Williams, Rosenbaum, Kenton Chase, and uh, Holden Russell on the uh, floor here this evening for West Washington. Senators have to start off early with a good yeah we've got to get um, a good start here a good start that's what they did with Borden and it worked out really well so yep just got to play a complete game here as we get ready to jump it up here Cook will jump it against Williams controlled by the Senators in the backcourt Holden Russell will control it as he'll bring it across the timeline and we're underway here Kenton Chase with it now back to Russell here on the near wing he'll go in the corner to Jackson Cameron back to Russell far side it'll go to Kenton Chase now to Titan Williams He'll get it off to Cameron. Cameron wheels around, looks inside, nothing there. Gets it off to Chase. Chase with it now, back out high to Rosenbaum. Ian with it, gets it off to Titan Williams. He'll dribble around, gets it to Kenton Chase. Man-to-man -man defense here. Chase on the attack, gets cut off their baseline, kicks it back out to Rosenbaum, now back to Kenton. Chase with it. He'll regroup here as he'll pull it back out and set up here. Senators working hard here for this first bucket as they try to get an early lead. They'll get it off to uh, Russell on the far side. Now Rosenbaum back to Russell to Williams. Now off to Chase. Kenton with it. Out high to Williams. Back to Cameron. Far side to Russell. Good patience here. They find Kenton cutting the lane. He gets cut off. Spins. Throws it up. Got it to go. So the first bucket of the night. Good for the Senators. And Kenton Chase scores it. Back the other way for Christian Academy. They'll bring it up. Doss will control it out high for the Warriors. He'll get it down inside there. It goes to Cook. Cook with it about the free throw line. He gets cut off there. Now goes on the attack. Gets cut off again. Can't find anybody. Loses it, but it goes to Dawes. He loses it in the lane. Dishes it out. Now to Cook for a three-pointer. He shoots it. Got it. And they take the early lead here, three yeah, to two. You got to make sure you find those yep. two every time down the floor. We done a good job closing out on him. Actually, probably fouled him, and we yeah. got lucky there that we didn't get called for the uh, and one situation. But back the other way, Senators with it, down three to two here. Kenton Chase on the attack. He'll drive it in the lane, gets stopped, spins, goes a nice move inside, and he scores it again to regain the lead at four to three. Yeah, if Kenton's going to make those moves He's all night long, that. I mean, that's exactly what we need him to do. So That's what I've been asking him to do for two years, and he's <laughs> got to get that done for us to be successful. Back the other way, Christian Academy with it. They'll get it off to Cook far side. He'll flip it back over to Losey. Losey with it outside to Cook again. Another three up. He can't get that one to go. Rebound pulled down by Cameron. He gets it off to Russell. Russell back the other way, kicks it back to Cameron. Now far side to Kenton Chase. Chase back out high to Russell. Now in the corner it'll go to Cameron, back to Russell out high, off to Williams on the far wing. He'll kick it back to Cameron. He wheels around, shoots a three, and buried it. Nice shot there by Jackson. Yeah, that makes it 7-3 Senators. I mean, they're out early here, and like we said, they need a good start, and that's exactly what they've gotten here. Good start for us. Dawson bring it across the timeline for the Warriors. He looks far side as he'll hand it off over there to Renfro. Renfro. Back to uh, Doss. Now they go down low on the baseline as they kick it down there to Chancey. Chancey with it. Back out high. It'll come to Renfro. He'll pull it down. He'll shoot the three as well. No good. Battle for the board pulled down inside there. And Losey pulls it out. He'll kick it back out to Cook. Yeah, Senators have to do a better job yeah. on the board there. if they're Got gonna... a rebound. Cook with it. Drives. Kicks it. Far side as he gets it over there to Renfro. Now back out high. It'll come. To Chancey, far side now, another three up there, and that one good again by Cook. He's got all six of their points, and it's seven to six here. Two three-pointers by Cook here early. Kenton Chase back the other way, drives it, kicks to Russell. He'll pull it down, now back to Chase, far side to Cameron. Now inside on the baseline, it goes to Williams. 
Titan with it, spins, kicks it off to Ian Rosenbaum, and he buries it, just a two-point shot. But uh, the Senators shooting it well right now. Yeah, I mean, that's all you could ask for is for them to shoot it this well. 9-6, I don't think we've missed a shot. They get it back off, uh, do the uh, Warriors as they kick it back out to Renfro. He'll go up far side, Losey with it. Losey back out high, it'll come as it goes off to Cook. Now far side to Renfro. Renfro with it. Getting chase on him now on the attack. He stops, pulls up, free throw line jumper off the elbow. No good. Rebound by Rosenbaum. Yeah, that's a nice rebound there by Ian Rosenbaum. Nine to six here, 339 to go in the first quarter. Chase back the other way off to Rosenbaum. Back to Kenton Chase. Now to Russell here on the near wing. He'll look inside, gets it out to Cameron. Now he finds Rosenbaum inside off to Williams. Williams will spin, throws up a one-hander, and got it to go. So great job moving the basketball there. And the Senators, when they play like this, they yep. are tough. That's exactly what we talked about earlier in the season. If they can play at that pace, yep. it, they're tough to guard, tough to stop. Losey with it, gets it out to Doss. Doss with it, he'll hand it off to Cook. Cook's got all their points at this point. 11 to six here, five point advantage for the Senator. Cook with it, gets cut off, kicks it off to Losey here on the near wing. He'll kick it back out high, it'll go to Chansey. Chansey far side to Doss. Doss with it, gets it off to Renfro. Now back down low to Chansey. He spins, throws it up. They call him for a charge. Yeah. Yeah, he did kind of spin into him. And uh, the official uh, saw it the same way I did. Yeah, you know, he was set there and he gave him gave uh, Holden Russell a chance to get set. That was the thing. If he would have gone straight in and not paused, it wouldn't have gone Absolutely. that way. Chance, uh, or uh, excuse me, uh, Brown comes in for the Senators here, the uh, freshman, Colton Brown. Check in, his first action in the game. Kenton Chase with it. He'll get it off to Russell. Far side, it'll go to Colton. He'll shoot a quick three, and he got it. So we are hot right now, yep. and the Senators with a great start here as they lead it 14 to six here with 2.36 to go and a full timeout by Christian Academy. We're gonna go ahead and step away, have a word from Sullivan Financial. We'll be back in just a moment. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Two six seven zero. All right, back here live at West Washington. Timeout called by Christian Academy. Two thirty six to go here in the first quarter. Senators red hot. I don't. I don't believe they've missed a shot at this point, as they're out to fourteen points here, and uh, the uh, Warriors just limited to two three pointers by Cook, and so fourteen to six, an eight point advantage here. And Christian Academy coach Casey calls a timeout to talk things over. They'll have the basketball, they'll inbound. Uh, Doss will get it into Renfro. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Across the timeline, picked up there by Kenton Chase, gets it off to Losey, now off to Cook. Cook with it out high, he gets it there on the block to Chansey. Chansey will move against Rosenbaum, spins, throws it up, can't get it, and he's fouled. Yeah, we're gonna pick up a foul there. I believe they're gonna get Kenton Chase. I think, I think so, we'll see what the call is here. They called it on Colton Brown. Well, his first foul, team's first here. And that'll put uh, Chansey at the line. He'll have a couple free throws here. Look, like he got away kind of, I thought he might have yeah, charged he got, again. Yeah, he got a bump into Rosenbaum, Ian and sent yeah. Ian kind of flying. Second free throw will be coming. He gets the first to go, 14 to seven here, Senators. As uh, Joshua Chansey back at the line, second free throws up and it rims out hard off the back of the rim. Ian Rosenbaum there for the rebound. So seven point advantage, they'll hand it off. Hayden Morrow checks into the game too for the Senators, giving Russell a break. They'll get it off far side to Kenton Chase. He'll spin, goes up, another shot in the air. Can't get it to go. And yeah, he's gonna foul. pick up a foul. Yep. Get to go to the line there. I like the fact that Kenton's looking for his shot, as they call it on 32 Doss, his first team second. And that'll put Kenton at the line, shooting a couple free throws here. 
So he'll step up there, chance to build on this lead. He hits the first, back to an eight point advantage, 15 to seven. Russell will come back in, he'll give Cameron a break. So Coach Cummings rotating his players well here in this first quarter. Chase will step back to the line. Second free throw coming here for him. It's up and it's down. So it is 16 to seven, a nine point advantage, the biggest of the night here. Other way now, as the Warriors bring it up, they'll get it off to uh, Chansey Farside, looking inside to Cook, can't find him. He kicks it back out to Renfro. Renfro on the attack now. Pulls up there, free throw line, now backs it out, hands it off to Cook. Cook with it, high on the court here, 145 to go in the first quarter. Cook on the attack, drives the lane, throws up a runner, he got it. He's got all their points to this point. As it's, uh, well, I take that back, Chansey's got the one free throw, yeah. but he's got eight of their nine. 16-9 here back to a seven-point lead. Rosenbaum now will shoot a deep three. Can't get that one to go. And the rebound pulled down there by Cook. Or, excuse me, Renfro. He brings it up quickly. He'll kick it off to Losey. Back to Cook now. Cook with it. He pulls it down, shoots it off the elbow. Can't get it to go from three. Chancey with the rebound, but a steal. And a turnover there as Russell will drive it. Reverse layup, and he gets it to go. That's a Russell. nice move there yeah. by Holden to get to the other side of the rim and kind of protect it. His first bucket of the night, 18 to nine, back to a nine point advantage. Renfro brings it up and he'll hand it off there to Cook. Cook with it out high, Russell on him. He'll go into the free throw line, gets cut off, kicks it out to Losey, Losey with it. I don't know if it's Losey, Losey, or I don't know if I I'm like saying it right, but Losey is what we're gonna say. So they'll give it to Renfro, he'll go baseline, kicks it out. Chancey with it, back to Losey. Now in the corner it'll go. Cook wide open, and he buries it. His third three-pointer. He's got 11 already. Yeah. 18 to 12 here now, down to a six-point lead for the Senators. Under 30 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Cook's one that we're going to have to find yeah. on, on the, the transition, make sure we've got him every time. Absolutely. Morrow with it. He'll wheel around here with 11 seconds. And the center's going to have to move here. Kent and Chase with it far side. They isolate him. He'll drive, goes baseline, looks underneath, reverses it, and got it. Nice, nice move bucket. by him. Kent up to eight points. So a great first quarter here by the Senators, about as good as we've played. Yeah. And they lead it here 20 to 12 over the Christian Academy Warriors. And we'll take a break here. A word from the sponsor and be back here on your home for Senator Sports, WWSR and West Washington live stream. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-227. 9421. That's 877 227 9421. Or just visit our website. All right, back here live, West Washington High School, here in the T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium on the Ron Smith Court. The Senators lead it here 20 to 12 over the Christian Academy Warriors. Is a great first quarter for West Washington. Couldn't be any better here as they. Uh, I think they only missed one shot, so yeah. we're shooting a real good percentage. And, and I don't know, but 20 might be the most that we've scored in a quarter this year. It very well could be. I don't remember scoring any more than that throughout the year. So if we can keep this up, we, we stand a good chance here. Great job on the defensive end as well. Just got to find Cook. Uh, Losey with it now as he'll start the second quarter. He'll hand it off to Doss out high. Doss looking now, can't find anybody. Tries to go back door. Now he flips it over to Renfro. Now they'll get it in the corner to Losey. Losey with it. Now he'll go on the attack as he beats his man. Holden Russell back tips it and picked up there by Doss. Now he'll get it out to Renfro. Renfro with it. Drives far side. Kicks it off as he'll hand it back out to Losey. Losey far side. It'll go to Cook. Cook will pull it out. Sets the play here. Rosenbaum on him now. They've kind of switched their defense. Yeah, I, I don't know who should guard Cook. I, yeah. I know Holden Russell had him for a little bit, and Ian started off on him. So, Let's see what they do here. Doss with it, far side to Cook hit, or Renfro. He'll put shoot a deep three, and Rosenbaum with the rebound off the front of the rim. So he misses that one, 20 to 12. 
Senators still with this eight-point lead. Good defense there. Kenton Chase will bring it up. Gets it to Russell. Russell off to Rosenbaum here on the near wing. He looks. Kicks it far side to Williams. Now off to Kenton. Chase with it. Looking inside. Can't find anybody. Flips it to Williams. Now over here to Cameron. Back to Russell. Now off to Kent Chase. Chase here setting the offense. He'll get it off to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum can't find the cutter. Goes to Williams. Back to Rosenbaum. He'll get it off to Cameron. Cameron now to Chase here on the near wing. He looks inside. Titan Williams has a mismatch down there on the block. Yeah, he does. They need to try to get it to him. They get it off to Cameron. Now back to Rosenbaum. Back to Cameron. Out high to Williams. Titan out high on the floor. Dribbles in. Free throw line. Spins. Takes it one-on-one. -on -one. Nice move, but he can't get the shot to go. And the rebound pulled down there. Lozy with the board for Christian Academy. He'll bring it up quickly. Goes baseline. Gets cut off. Flips it out. Cook wide open. And that's dangerous. He hits another three, his fourth of the night. Yeah, that makes it 15, the 20 to 15. Senators yeah. out, still here, six minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, got to find him. He's got all but one of their points. Kenton Chase back the other way. He'll flip it off to uh, Russell far side. Now to Williams on baseline, back out to Russell. Russell now to Rosenbaum. He'll go to Kenton Chase. Chase with it, looking down low. He'll take it one-on-one, -on -one, spins in the lane, kicks it out to Cameron far side to Rosenbaum. He fakes the three, now back out high to Chase. Chase far side, it'll go to Russell. Now off to Williams. Williams looking, he goes down on the block. Rosenbaum, nice spin nice move. Spin oh, move. in and out, tips it out. Williams with the rebound. He'll take it in offensively, throws it up, and he can't get it to go, get but he got on, fouled. Yeah, I think they're going to get one on Cook there. He was up in the air, and Titan went into him. So yep. Cook's um, first foul, team's first here of this quarter as the Senators still with a five-point lead, 20 to 15 here. And uh, Titan Williams at the line. Williams up there. And he misses the first free throw bad off the back of the rim. He'll get another one, however. Number 10 in Elijah Logston for the Warriors as he'll check in here. And Losey will get a little break. Williams back at the line, free throw number two coming, and it's also back of the rim hard and bounces out. So can't get those two to go, and uh, Christian Academy with the board. Doss will bring it up, brings it across the timeline, hands it off to Renfro. Renfro with it, now isolates, goes baseline, Kenton Chase on him, flips it out to Cook, Rosenbaum all up in his grill. Yeah, he'll well. dribble, goes baseline, and kicks it out as it goes to Logston, now back to Cook. We've done a good job on everybody but Cook. He's been their bell cow. He'll spin in the lane, traveled with it. Yep, he yeah. walked. That's turnover. Second one for them. I've got Nice him. job of holding Russell, just yes. staying in front of him that whole time. Colton Brown will check back in for Williams, give him a little break here. So uh, Titan with a nice job defensively. Full court pressure here shown by the Warriors as Rosenbaum looks to get it in. He'll get it in to Chase. Kenton with it. Now back over to Rosenbaum. As he'll break the pressure, takes it across the timeline, dribbles in the lane, now back out to Kenton. Kenton drives baseline, kicks it to Brown. He opened three-pointer, can't get it. Cameron, though, there for the rebound, back up and in. That's a nice follow there by Jackson Cameron. He's got five. Renfro back the other way. He'll go baseline quickly, gets cut off there, now spins against Chase. Now he's trapped down there with it, gets it out to Chansey. Now they flip it back to Doss. Doss. Around the screen there, far side looking. Can't find anybody. Now gets it out to Renfro. Pulls it down, baseline. Goes on the attack, can't find anybody. Goes down low, Chancey with it. Spins in the lane, throws up a runner. Air ball and a rebound by Brown. Senators 20. playing really yes, good ball right are. now. Russell with it, off to Rosenbaum. Maybe we just need to have homecoming every night. Well, we're playing with a purpose <laughs> here tonight. You know, we, we've just been all over it defensively. Russell with it far side. Now a timeout called by Coach Cummings here. 3.53 to go here in this second quarter. We'll take a quick break and be back. Senators lead it 22 to 15 over the Christian Academy Board. In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs. In whatever you do, talk, they hear you. 
All right, back here live. Senators calling a timeout here. They lead it 22-15 with possession of the ball here. 3.53 to go in the first half of play. So a great, great first half so far for the Senators. They've played a quarter and a half here really well on both ends of the floor. They'll get it into Kenton Chase. Now off to Russell, far side to Colton Brown. He'll uh, get it off to Cameron. Now back over to Kenton. Kenton with it, looking, drives in the lane, gets cut off, kicks it out to Brown. He'll dribble baseline, puts up a runner, and he got it to go off the elbow. Nice shot there by Brown. He's got five. 24 to 15, back to a nine-point lead. Ties the biggest lead of the night. Doss with it as he'll wheel around, kicks it off to number 30, Vance, who checked into the game. He'll get it off as it'll go over there to Cook. He shoots it and got it to go and one. He gets fouled. Oh. Not so sure about that one. Cameron picking up the foul. Yeah, I didn't see that there, but Cook uh, hits the bucket. He'll have a chance to complete the three-point play here as he takes it up 24 to 17. Chance to cut it back to a six-point lead here if he can get this free throw to go down. And it's amazing. He's got all but one of their points. 24-18. Yeah. 17 already for Cook. Kenton Chase gets cut off baseline, and he steps on the out-of-bounds line, so a turnover. And uh, Senator Bench really felt like he was pushed out. I did, too. No foul call. <laughs> Coach Cummings. Yeah, he's not, uh, real happy. not real happy about that call. 24-18. Christian Academy back with it. Doss flips it inside to Chansey. Now they try to hand it off to Cook, and it's stolen away, and they're going to get a jump ball called. It'll be Senator basketball, so the arrow – Pointing to West Washington. So official uh, taking care of some business down here. 24 yeah. to 18, a six point lead. Rosenbaum with it. A little half-court pressure here by the Warriors. They get it across to Russell. Now they trap him. He gets it off to Cameron, inside to Chase. Kenton pulls it down, kicks it out to Cameron. Three ball in the air. Can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down inside there by Lozy as he'll kick it off to Cook. Cook with it far side. Cameron on him now. Everybody's guarding him, but nobody's been able to stop him, and he hits still, another. Still can't stop him. He hits another runner. Cuts the lead to four. Yep, 35 to go. He's got 20, or 19 of their 20 here. They'll get it off to Rosenbaum, inside to Cameron. He'll pull it down, shoot it, can't get that one to go. Rebound, Chansey. Chansey flips it back. Now Christian Academy up quickly, Doss with it. He'll wheel around, gets cut off now, hands it off to Cook. Cook with it. Cameron on him now. We've had everybody guard him, and nobody's been able to stop him. He'll pull it down, shoot it, deep three. That one, I think, he's out of bounds. He was out of bounds and got the rebound. So that's a turnover against the Warriors. That's their third. Rosenbaum will inbound here with 2.05 to go in this first half. Senators up 24 to 20. He'll get it into Russell. Russell with it back to Rosenbaum. Now back to Russell. Half court pressure here. They'll get it to Rosenbaum. Now to Cameron. They trap him and he throws it away. Second turnover there, Christian Academy down the floor, and Colton Brown going to be called for the foul as he reaches in his second foul. Second of the quarter also. So. Yep. So Renfro back in the game here for Christian Academy. Four-point lead here by the Senators, 24 to 20, 152 to go here in the first half. They'll get it in to Losey in the backcourt. He'll bring it across, gets it inside to Chansey. Chansey with it, wheeling around, finds Renfro on the cut. He'll pull it down, now kicks it off to Cook. Cook spins, free throw line, takes it in the lane, throws it up, can't get that one to go off the front of the rim, rebound over by Chansey, and he throws it away. So four turnovers now for That was the whole Warriors. team defense there. I mean, it, it started off with Ian Rosenbaum, then it transferred over to Holden Russell, you know, just trying to stop Cook any way they can. Yeah, and he, he's just a force for sure. 
Senators inbound with 1.30 to go. Russell with it, gets it off to Cameron. They'll get it off to Williams now. Now out high to Russell. He'll pull it down, shoot a rare three. Can't get it, air ball. And Cook with the rebound here. Cook up quickly with it. As he'll drive it in the lane against Rosenbaum. Now kicks it out. It'll go in there to Vance. Now back out to Cook. Three-pointer up, and he can't get that one. Rebound, Titan Williams. He'll get it off to Williams. Or, excuse me, Russell. Russell with it. Back to Titan. Now to Russell. Russell pulls it down, dribbles far side, kicks it off to Colton Brown. Brown wheels around, gets cut off, goes to Rosenbaum. He'll spin in the lane, nice move, and he gets, oh, charging foul. Going to be called against Ian, his first, <coughs> 50, team's third. 52 seconds to go here. I think Ian made a nice move there. Um, just the, the Christian Academy player was set up as he spun into him. Yeah, so. he sure did. He, he made a great move, but like you said, just kind of got out of control. And when that happens, uh, you know, sometimes you're going to commit that, uh, that charging foul. So they'll hand it off to Renfro. He'll bring it up with uh, under a minute to go here in this first half. Senators 24, Christian Academy 20. Chancey with it, down low, kicks it out. Renfro will shoot the three, and he gets it, and he's fouled. So they finally get somebody to hit a bucket besides Cook, and it's a big one as uh, he knocks down the three-pointer does uh, Josh Renfro, and he'll go to line with a chance to make a four-point play. Yeah, Cameron we, with the foul, his second. We said, you know, a, a good start for the Senators, but then the second quarter yeah. this will tie it up if Renfro knocks this down. Yep, so he'll shoot it from the line and get it to go. So that's a tie ball game, 24 all. 35 seconds to go here in this first half. But, but the Senators have played well. Yeah. Russell with it. He'll get it off to Brown. Kenton Chase has been out for a long time. Is he on the floor now? No. No. Where's he at? I don't even see him on the bench. He'll get it off to Brown. Brown with it. And almost gets it stolen. He gets it back. Gets it off to Cameron. Back out to Brown. Brown now to Russell. Russell with 12 seconds. And throw all over him. He'll kick it off to Colton. Brown with it. Wheels around, gets it off to Rosenbaum. He'll pull it down, shoot a deep three, in and out, no good. And Losey with a full court heave at the buzzer, no good. And we'll go into the half here, tied at 24. I don't know where Kent Chase is. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he got hurt or something, but he'd come out, and uh, I haven't seen him for a while, so we'll find out what's going on with that. But we'll go into the half here, tied at 24. We'll come back here in just a few minutes with your halftime stats. And you're home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR.
All right, back here live at West Washington, tied at 24, the Senators and the Warriors of Christian Academy all tied up here. It's kind of a tale of two different quarters. The yeah. Senators with 20 points in the first quarter, just four points in that uh, second quarter of play, but to run down the first half scoring here from West Washington for the Senators, Jackson Cameron has a three-pointer and a two-pointer for five. Uh, Kenton Chase actually the uh, leading scorer here as he has uh, three field goals and two free throws, but we didn't see him in the second quarter. We're not sure what went on there. Yeah, with Kenton, he just kind of disappeared. But he leads the centers with eight points. Uh, Colton Brown with a three-pointer and two-pointer. He also has five. Cameron with five that we mentioned. Titan Williams with a bucket. Ian Rosenbaum with a bucket. And Holden Russell with a bucket to give the Senators 24 points here at the half. Four, the Christian Academy, they're 24. Two different, uh, they, they scored 12 points in each quarter, so an even amount of uh, points for the Warriors, but they are led in scoring by uh, Cook as he's got all but five of their points. So he has 19 here at the half, and then Renfro with a three and a free throw for four, and Chancey has one free throw for one point. So yeah, you know, you, you kind of hit, hit the nail on the head there when you said, you know, it's kind of a tale of two, two quarters because the Senators just put 20 up in the first quarter, yeah. but only four, only four in the second. And I tell you, it changed when Kenton left. I don't know where he's at or where he went or what's going on. But, um, you know, Kenton left the floor, and things kind of changed for us a little bit. Uh, we just couldn't get things going here offensively in that second quarter. Unified team out here now, and a heavy uh, three-pointer shot up there by Spicer. He can't get it to go. Yeah. And uh, now they'll come back the other way. So the, uh, the unified team here, Special Olympics team out here, uh, playing a little half-court ball. They'll get it off Elliott Daniels. He's going to pull it down and shoot it. Oh, just about got it. Rebound pulled down there by my buddy. That's our announcing buddy right yeah. there. It's got the ball. Cameron's son. He wheels around, goes in strong. And there we go. Cameron with the first bucket. Knocked that one in. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> I love to see that. Cameron, he's guarding them now. They get it out there. They get it to the big guy. He's going to shoot it. Ooh, almost that was got a it deep to go. One. That's a Boyd with it. Out to uh, Spicer. He loves them three-pointers. He's going to shoot another one. Oh, close. Rebound by Suns. Back up and in. Cameron got all four. Yeah. Like we said, you know, kind of a big night all around having the uh, unified team oh, yeah. here. John Combs with it. He can't get it. Rebound by the big guy. He throws it back up, gives it off to John again. Combs. Second shot, oh, almost there, John. Get him again. He's got three tries, third time's a charm. Can't get it. And the rebound by the big guy back up. No good, Cameron Sons. With it, he'll get out. Spicer, another three coming. Uh-oh, Daniels ain't going to let him shoot that this time. Yeah, I'm not going to let him get that up there. He gets it out there. Boyd with the rebound inside. He'll shoot it from the baseline. Oh, almost good. Cameron, Cameron with, the Sons with the rebound. <laughs> Cameron Sons with the rebound. Cameron. Spicer. Deep one. Oh, off the mark. Suns with the rebound. Oh, he got it. <laughs> What's he got? Six? Six. He Six. Got. Daniels with it. Gets it to Combs. Combs. And they're trying to get John to score. Oh, he's close. Rebound. Big guy. No good. <laughs> he flips it over the, <laughs> over the back air to Spicer. Throws it down to Suns. Cameron again. He got another one. Cameron's hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Comes with it, can't get it. Boy, they want John to score, don't they? Yeah. He can't get it. Back up, no good. Daniels, he's going to shoot it. He can't get it. Big guy shoots it, no good. Back up. Boyd with it, another one, he can't get it. Cameron with a rebound out to Spicer now. Oh, uh -oh. off Spicer's head. Oh, Elliot Daniels ain't going to let him shoot that. I'm telling you, he's all over him. <laughs> oh, a block. <laughs> Saves it. I get it to John. Combs again. I'd love to see him hit this. There it is. Oh, oh so close. So close. So close. Like 
Spicer with a deep one. Oh. Air balls it. <laughs> Cameron Sons, he's yeah, in he's double lighting figures. It up. <laughs> Almost everybody scored here. Spicer, open three. Oh, oh. He gets his own rebound Got though. It. Another three. Oh, oh. in and out. The reverse layup. <laughs> John, oh, Combs John, with the John Combs with the block Daniel from behind. The shot. <laughs> uh oh, Boyd. Three pointer looks good. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh, he ran into Spicer. <laughs> oh, that's great. Good stuff. Oh, Cameron throws one through the glass. <laughs> Daniels, he needs to score. He's the only guy that had it, and he's going to get it. Oh, can't get it to go. <laughs> Sons with uh, another bucket. He's good off the elbow. Oh, yeah. He can drain them. Daniels with it. He needs to score. There it is. He there got it. Go. So everybody scored. Out to Spicer. Oh, Spicer oh off scored. his foot. Off his foot. About lost it there. Oh, Elliot lets it go out of bounds. Oh, thought he had it. Yep. He gets his own rebound, though. Back. Oh. oh. Time's up. Great job by the unified team coming out here and playing. You know, <laughs> everybody here cheering them on. Great job for them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, that is uh, it's just great to see, man. They come out here and put on a show. Yeah. They're getting the crowd into it. <laughs> the crowd is pumped They're up. Pumped up. Attaboy, Cameron. <laughs> He's done push push up. ups and everything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's a character. <laughs> I tell you, the Boyd guy, I love him, man. He yeah. is hilarious. Hey, look at him. He's still working the crowd. Oh, yeah, working the crowd and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's great stuff right there. So we're, <laughs> we're three minutes away from the oh, uh, start back of the varsity game. We're going to go ahead and take a commercial break, and we'll be back with that start here in just a moment. <laughs> Gates, Carnegie, Rockefeller, I'm not. Generous, caring, rich in spirit, I am. You don't have to be a person of great wealth to make an impact. When caring individuals give through a flexible, creative, capable organization known as a community foundation, our philanthropic potential is unlimited. As your local community foundation, we provide you the opportunity to permanently support the causes you care about both near and far. We do this by protecting and administering permanent funds through thoughtful grant making to improve the quality of life in the community we serve. Simply put, donors who give through a community foundation build sustainable, permanent funds called endowments through contributions big and small to support organizations they care about most, forever. Through the generosity of our many donors and the responsible, informed investment of permanent funds, we will increase our grant-making ability for the benefit of our community for generations to come. All we need is you. What causes are you passionate about? What organization matters most to you? We can help you ensure your charitable interests are supported forever. Donors can give to an existing endowment or establish their own. Some choose to give now, while others make their gift later through their will or estate plan. To learn what your options are, talk to your community foundation. We're here to help you reach your philanthropic goals. 
If you love our community, let's leave our little corner of the world a bit better than we found it. Not just today, but for future generations too. The Washington County Community Foundation has been making our home a terrific place to live, work, and play since 1993 through the generosity of donors just like you. Why? Well, just like you, we also really love our community. All right, back here live at West Washington High School here in the T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium, home of the Ron Smith Court. Tied at 24 here at the half. Quite an entertaining halftime session. Oh, as yeah. They had lots of activities, the chuck a duck the 50-50, and but, but the best part of it was the unified team from Washington County coming out here and uh, entertaining the fans, and they put on quite a show. It was uh, really interesting, a lot of fun, and got the crowd into it here a little bit. So hopefully the Senators can come back out here and uh, control this game like they did that first quarter as they led it at the end of the first 20 to 12, and then uh, Christian Academy fought their way back in, uh, mainly off of uh, Renfro. He's got 19 points here of their 24. Or excuse me, Cook. Cook, yeah. So, we, uh, we just don't have an answer for him. No. We've, we've thrown three different players at him and haven't been able to stop him yet. No, we have not. We've done a good job on everybody else, but, uh, you know, he's got his 19. So Christian Academy will get the ball to start this third quarter of action as we're about ready to go here as they're talking to uh, Coach uh, Casey from Christian Academy, and here we go. They'll inbound. They'll get it in. It'll come into Renfro. He'll bring it here near the side. Kenton really. Chase back on the court. Yeah, good to see him back out here. And he'll kick it inside to Doss. Doss with it, controlling it down low, almost stolen from behind. He'll get it back out. Bosey with it, now to Renfro. Got uh, Ian Rosenbaum on Cook. Renfro will kick it far side. Losey will shoot the three off the mark. Cameron with a good box out, but Doss fights for it and gets it. And now Kenton Chase comes down with it. He'll bring it up quickly, looks, dishes off to Russell, easy bucket. Nice bucket and there for Holden Russell. Yeah, good way to start this uh, third quarter. Senators up 26-24. Back the other way, Renfro, Losey. Now to Cook, Cook with it. The wheel around, Rosenbaum on him, now takes a baseline, pulls up off the elbow, and he drilled another one. Man, that guy is just hard to stop. Yeah. Ties the game at 26 all. Kenton Chase to bring it up for the Senators. He'll cross the timeline, goes far side to Russell. Russell pulls it down now, back to Kenton, now back to Russell. Far side it comes here to Cameron, off to Rosenbaum. Ian wheels around, now goes to Kenton. Kenton goes baseline, off the dribble, takes it in the lane, jump stop, spins, throws it up, got it. For Kenton up to double figures, he's yeah. got 10, and it's 28-26. Renfro back the other way. He'll dribble against Chase. He'll hand it off to Cook. Cook will pull it down now. And he'll back it out, dribbles far side, flips it out to Losey. Losey with it, gets it inside. It'll go to Chansey. He'll wheel around, throws it up, got it, and one as he gets fouled. So Chansey with his first field goal his third point, and he'll have a chance to build on it here as he'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, that was, you know, Titan Williams gets a beat down low and then fouls it, fouls, um, you know, to compound it even more, so. Yeah, Chansey at the line. He's one of two up there so far tonight. This, this one here is good, so he gets it to go. Three-point play, and they lead it by one, 29-28. 6.19 to go in the third quarter. Russell up with it quickly for the Senators. Gets it off to Kenton Chase here on the near wing. Kenton with it. Looking. Now dribbles in free throw line. Gets cut off there by Cook. He'll dribble it back out. Now goes down to Rosenbaum. Back to Kenton. He'll pull up off the elbow. Nice shot off the backboard. He's got four here in the third quarter and gives the Senators a one-point lead. Losey back the other way with it. Kicks it to Cook. Far side to Renfro. Renfro wheels around. And he'll keep it, goes baseline, gets cut off there, throws it far side to Losey. Losey, back out to Cook. Cook will dribble back out high and set the offense here. 30-29, Senators. He goes around the screen, dribbles inside, throws it up, and one as he scores it, and he's fouled. Yeah, once mm -hmm. again, you know, I think they're going to get that one on Ian Rosenbaum. Uh, nope. Oh, no, they're going to get Cameron. Jackson That's Cameron. That's his third. Yeah. Team second here. So Cook will go to the line. He's perfect up there, one for one. 
tonight. And that one goes out. I jinxed him. There you go. Glad I said that. <laughs> the broadcaster <31. laughs> jinxed. 31 to 30 here. Christian Academy by a point here. Oh, and a turnover there by that the Senators. Went right through Jackson's Cameron. hand. Yep. He's going to come out. He's got four fouls. Brown will check in for him. Number 10, uh, Logston will come into the game for Losey as well. So Logston will inbound to Cook. Cook with uh, 24 here in this basketball game. They'll get it to Renfro. Renfro will pull it down, dribbles. Now he'll keep it here on the near wing, Rosenbaum on him. Now he'll go baseline, gets bumped there, now throws it open for a three in the corner, no good. Rebound pulled down by Holden Russell. Yeah, that's a that's a matchup that yeah, the Senators we'll let him shoot all night. That the Senators don't like is Ian Rosenbaum on Josh Renfro. That's a that's just a foot speed. You know, that's going to be tough for Ian to keep up. Brown with it now for the Senators. Back to Russell. Now to Kenton. Chase with it out high for the Senators. He'll set the offense here. 31-30, Christian Academy with a one-point lead. Brown with it. Far side to Williams. Now back to Chase. Now to Rosenbaum. Back to Kenton Chase. Off to Russell. Now down on the block it goes to Williams. Back out to Russell. Gets it out to Colton Brown. Now off to Kenton. Kenton with it, he'll dribble, goes baseline, gets cut off, wheels around, goes in the lane, gets stopped, gets it off to Russell. He'll shoot it from the sideline and got it to go. That was Rosenbaum, I believe. Earth. Yeah, it was Rosenbaum. I'm sorry I said Russell. <laughs> I knew so, what you meant. 32-31, back to one-point lean. Renfro with a quick three, and he buried it. That's his second three of the night. 34-32, a two-point lead and a timeout. Here. Yeah, that's a full one from Christian Academy. So let's step, step away, have a word from Michael Long with American Family. As your American Family insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. All right, back here live. The Christian Academy with the timeout here. 3.54 to go in the third quarter. Renfro with his second three-pointer of the night gives them a two-point lead, 34-32. And a little pressure set up here by the Warriors. Senators get it inbounds. Ian Rosenbaum with it. He'll kick it off to Russell, far side. Russell gets it across to Kenton Chase. Kenton trapped now with it. Wheels around Rosenbaum, out high. And he'll reset the offense. Yeah, the, the Senators just haven't been able to stop, um, you know, Cook at all. So it's it's been a struggle there. And then on the other side, it seems like there's a mismatch with whoever he's guarding. So. Right. Titan Williams with it. He'll get it off to Russell. Russell now looking baseline. Gets it down to Colton Brown. He'll kick it out to Rosenbaum. Now off to Kenton. Chase with it. Two wheel around. Now beats everybody to the hole, and he scores his sixth point in this quarter. He's up to 14, and he ties the game at 34. Renfro back the other way. He'll take it off the dribble, goes in the lane against Russell and scores it. So Renfro starting to heat up as he's got nine now, and he gives Christian Academy a two-point lead, 36-34. You know, we, we did a really good job on him in the first yep. quarter, probably even the first half. And yeah, it seems absolutely. Like he's gotten did. a little bit more loose here in the third. Yeah, he's got five in this quarter alone. Kent Chase with it now for the Senators. He'll get it to Rosenbaum, back to Kent. Kenton wheels around, gets it inside to Rosenbaum. Mismatch there. He'll spin against uh, Doss. Throws up a one-handed runner. Can't get it to go, but Doss with the foul. So Doss just picked up his second. 
And that'll put Rosenbaum at the line here. You get a couple free throws coming. Yeah, Ian goes to the line where he's 68% on the year. He's got four points in the game here tonight. Chance to add to his point total. First free throw, no good. Off the front of the rim, he'll get another one. Definitely want to give a big shout out to Jackson Wiseman. He's on, yes. the, on the camera <laughs> underneath. And Second free throw up by Rosenbaum. That one wheels in as he rims it around. 36-35, a one-point lead for Christian Academy. Senators with a little pressure here. Doss with it. Gets cut off now, throws it long down the court to Chansey. He'll spin in the lane, lost it. Kicks it back to Doss, now back to Chansey and blocked from behind by Russell and he'll go out of bounds <laughs> there was to Christian Academy. All kinds of Senators there ready to swap that shot, so. Go inbound now with the Warriors. They get it in quickly. Renfro another three up and he buried it. And can't leave him or Cook open. No. And it's Renfro that's killing us now. Yeah, Cook had a really strong first half. Renfro, really strong third quarter. Four point lead, 39-35. We'll kick it in the corner to Colton Brown. And he hits a three. His second three of the night. He's got eight. Brings and it to within two. 39-38. Renfro with the shot up, no good. Rebound inside though. Back up and in, number 10. Elijah Lawson gets his first bucket of the night. So 41-38. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with you here. The Senators, yeah. you know, are doing a, a good job on the offensive end, but then they seem to lose Renfro, even on that out of bounds play. You know, they, they're trying to get set up in their in their two, three, um, you know, that inbounds and just are unable to get there. They, they just don't find him and then he's able to stroke a three. Yeah, he's got eight points in this quarter. He's got 12 on the night as uh, he's kind of took over where Cook left off there in the first half. Um, we've done a little better job on Cook, but now Renfro's kind of making us pay. So 41-38, a three-point lead here, 141 to go in the third quarter. And the Senators trying to match Christian Academy here as they uh, down three here. They'll have the ball, they'll inbound, they'll get it into Russell. Russell will bring it up. Gets it across the timeline, off to Colton Brown, back to Russell. Now to Williams, off to Chase. Kenton with it, looking, gets Rosenbaum with it. He'll flip it back to Kenton. Kenton will wheel in the lane, nice spin move, throws up a runner. Oh, that one bounces around, but he got his own rebound almost. And now they pull it out of there as Losey comes up with it. Yeah, Kenton had his hands on it, just too much spinning around, couldn't, couldn't keep it. Gets it to Doss, now to Cook. Cook with it, far side, gets it back out high to Doss. Doss looking, can't find anybody, kicks it out to Cook. He fakes the three, now he'll pull it down. Wheels around, takes it in to free throw line, shoots it off the elbow, no good. Rebound inside by Rosenbaum. Good job on the box out there. Kenton Chase will bring it up. Doss on him, he'll spin, kicks it back to Williams. Williams takes it baseline, gets cut off. Now to Rosenbaum, cutting, he'll spin, throws it up and got fouled by Cook. Cook picked up his second personal there. Yeah, nice move there by Ian to go back to the line. Yep. So Rosenbaum back to the free throw line, chance to cut into this three point lead here. Senators down 41-38. Second free throw, or first free throw's up, and that's good. We see Jackson Cameron check back in for Holden Russell. Sorry, caught me in the middle of a bite of a Reese cup there. Yeah. 41-39 <laughs> now. Second free throw up, and it rims in. It caught the back of the iron and fell through on the front. 41-40, a one-point lead. Pressure here by the Senators. Rim throw with it. Looking. Breaks it, gets it across the timeline to Losey. Now down, get it down low to Chancey, and he scores an easy bucket. He's got six. Yeah, that's we just got beat down the floor, and Titan Williams can't guard two people underneath. 43 to 40. He'll get it off to Colton Brown. Brown with it. Back to Kenton. Chase with it. Wheels around, now takes it in the lane, throws up a runner, and got it. Nice floater there for him. He's 
got eight in this quarter, 42-43, and the Senators go into the fourth, down one here, as they pulled within one here to uh, give themselves a chance here as we'll head into the fourth quarter of play here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington, live stream and WWSR. Lynx Clothing and Shoes carries a wide variety of items from name brand clothing and shoes to sports apparel and sporting goods. We offer custom screen printing and embroidery, free gift wrapping alternations and layaway. Our hours are Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5.30, Friday 9 to 6, and Saturday 9 to 5. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and are a family-owned and operated business. Stop by and see us today, 812-883-4154. All right, back here to start the fourth quarter of action here at West Washington High School. Senators down one here, 43-42 to the Christian Academy Warriors. Christian Academy 16-3 and three here, uh, so this would be a huge win for the Senators if they can keep themselves close here and give themselves a chance to win. They'll have the possession coming out of this quarter break, so they'll get the ball here to start. Down one, 40. 342. Rosenbaum to inbound. He'll get it into Kenton Chase, who's had the hot hand. Kenton uh, up to 16 points on the night. Cameron up with a quick three off the mark. No good. Rebound. Uh, Rosenbaum back up and in. So Ian, he scores it. He's got nine. And the Senators regain a one point lead. 44 43. Cook with it. And he'll dribble out high, gets it off to Renfro. That's the first lead in the second half for the Senators, isn't yes, it? Yes, I think so. Well, we, we I think we had a one-point lead before. We had as much as a nine-point lead in that yeah. first half. They get it off far side. Losey, he'll dribble, kicks it to Chansey wide open, and he scores again. And That's a nice feed underneath. Yep, 45-44, back to a one-point lead. So back and forth here. Or Russell with it. He'll get it off to Kenton Chase. Now to uh, Cameron here. He'll find Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum will wheel around back to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it. Far side of the court here, away from us. He'll get it out to Russell. Russell back to Kenton. Back to Russell. Now to Cameron. Jackson off to Rosenbaum. He in with it. He'll wheel around. Pulls up. Kicks it out to Titan Williams. Free throw line. Titan back out high to Russell. And they're going to get a moving screen there. Yeah. Just too yep. too long of time, you know, with the Senators trying to get something going there on their offense. Called on Titan Williams, his second foul. So first of this quarter. So 45-44, Christian Academy. Doss will bring it up for them. He'll cross the timeline, goes far side to Losey. Back out to Doss. Doss with it. Senators kind of packed it into like a 2-1-2 two, two, uh, zone here. Yeah. As uh, they're going to put a chaser, I think, on uh, Renfro and uh, Cook here as they get it out to Losey. Now back to Doss. Now off to Renfro. Downside to Chansey. He'll wheel. Kicks it out. Losey will shoot a three off the mark and a rebound inside, though, by Renfro as uh, Rosenbaum has to foul him from behind. Yeah, Rosenbaum got beat there on the getting back to the post. Trying to rebound out of that zone is not the easiest thing in the world to no, do. it's not. So. Picked up his second foul here, so second on the team as well here in this quarter. They'll inbound quickly. It'll come in to Renfro. He'll shoot a three. No good rebound. Russell holding up quickly with it. Looking. Drives the lane. Nobody picks him up. Can't score it, though, and a rebound by Renfro as uh, he pulls it down off there. Nice take by Russell, but yeah. he just couldn't get the shot to go. He'll get it off. Will Renfro to Losey. Far side, it'll go to Doss. Doss with it. Gets it off to Losey. Losey. Far side to Doss. They're making sure to guard Renfro as he comes through the different zones yep. of this zone. Renfro with it. Off to Doss. Back to Renfro, Doss now far side to Losey, back to Doss. Off to uh, Renfro again, three-pointer, he got that one to go. Moves that lead out to four. Yep, 40, uh, 
What is it? 40, 44, 48. Yep. Yeah. Four point lead. Cameron with it. Far side gets it off to Russell now to Titan Williams. He finds Kent and Chase down the lane. Kent gets it blocked off of him out of bounds. So a good defensive play there by Cook. Four point lead. Cameron with it, far side gets it off four two. point lead. And this is Russell kind of now to tight games. He finds Kent and Chase down the lane. Kent gets a lob, you know. Yeah. In the games that we've played so far, we've got to maintain this intensity here. Can't let them get out much more than the four that they've got. We need to stop here. Cook with it, far side, back out to Doss. Doss inside to Cook there, free throw line. He'll bounce it out, kicks it off to Losey. Rosie with it. Far side, it'll go to Renfro. There's far side to Doss now. Doss will dribble in the lane, kicks it inside there. Shot up and good there by Losey. Yeah, that spreads this lead out to six, and they're just finding their uh, dribble drive and getting and kicking to someone open. And Chase takes it, kicks it in the corner. Browns three up off the mark. No good. Rebound Losey as he pulls it down and out of there on the run. He'll kick it to Doss. Doss finds uh, Cook. Cook now dribbles back out high. Cook with it. Pulls it down. They just kind of spread the floor here. Yeah, with us in this zone, they can, they yeah. can kind of run a four corners. With a six-point lead, Doss will take it on the attack. Now back out to Cook. Cook with it, almost stolen there by Russell as he slaps it out of Cook's hand out of bounds. So it'll go back to Christian Academy. They have a six point lead here, 50-44, 3.42 to go and a timeout called by West Washington. They'll take a full timeout here, I believe. Yep, so let's take a quick second and jump away. We'll be back in just a moment. We all make choices. When it comes to alcohol, kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, Em, have a seat for a second. Remind me about that party again. Alex is just and happy. adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. They want guidance and honest answers to their questions. And it makes a difference when the message is consistent and part of everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. For more information about talking with your kids about underage use of alcohol and other drugs, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Back here live West Washington High School, Christian Academy with a six point lead here. 50-44 over the Senators. They have possession here as they'll inbound the basketball. 342 to go here in this fourth quarter. They'll get it into Doss. He'll hand it off to Renfro. And Renfro goes on the attack, hands it off to Cook. And steal by Rosenbaum. Ian will take it, drive it. He gets fouled, no call. And Cameron chases it down, gets it off to Kenton. Now back to Williams, out to Cameron for a deep three. Oh, off the mark, can't get it to go. Cook with the board inside there. He'll pull it down, loses it. Rosenbaum on the floor, and he knocks it off of Cook. It'll go back to, oh, they're going to say back to Christian Academy. Man, it looked like Rosenbaum made a heck of an effort. <laughs> yeah, he was all over the place there. on that one. After that ball, and he can't save it, but it, I thought he I thought he it got off it Cook. off of Cook. Yeah, yeah. It looked like it did hit Cook, but they said that Rosenbaum was out of bounds. So inbound now, they'll get it into Cook. Get it back to Losey. Losey with it. He'll kick it back to Renfro. He'll bring it across the timeline. Six-point lead here, 50-44. Get it into Losey. Tipped away from him. Titan Williams comes up with it. He'll get it to Russell. Russell back the other way. Dribbles inside. Gets cut off there. Kicks it out to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it. Kenton now on the attack, spins in the lane. Nice move, goes up, can't get it to go, and he gets fouled as Losey hit him from behind. Yeah. That was the thing, it wasn't on the initial shot. He yeah. got fouled on the after it. Yep. yep. So 
They're going to put Kenton at the line. Yep. He'll Seven, step up there. 78% free throw shooter on the year. So He's got 16 points in this game. A chance to add on it here as he hadn't scored in this quarter. We've only got one field goal. He gets that first free throw to go. Cuts that lead to 5, 347 left here in regulation. Second uh, free throw coming here for Kenton. It's up, and that one hard off the rim, no good. Rosenbaum, though, fights for it and gets a rebound, and they say he's out of bounds. Looks like he got pushed out, but yeah. no call, but good hustle there. I tell you, our kids are fighting. 50-45 here, 2.45 to go. Full court pressure by the Senators. Doss to inbound. He'll get it in to Cook. Cook with it. And Cameron knocks it away from him, but Cook gets it back. He'll get it off to Losey, and he'll break the pressure, gets it across, gets it down low. They miss a bunny inside, and Rosenbaum with the rebound. Back to Russell, holding up quickly with it. He'll get it to Kenton Chase, 2.27 to go. Down five here, 50-45. Kenton will pull it down, shoots a rare three, and he got it. Great shot there by Kenton. 50-48, a two-point game. Cook with it. He'll break the pressure, gets trapped, now gets it off to Losey, and Cameron has to foul him as Jackson ran into him there. Yeah, his Jackson fourth. just couldn't stop. That's his fourth, just the team's third, so no free throws yet. 2.09 to go, and Christian Academy clinging to a two-point lead here. 50-48. Go inbound, Renfro will get it into Doss. Doss with it, hands it back to Renfro. 2.06 to go. Still spin, trap coming over. Oh, and Rosenbaum ran into Cook. <laughs> Just called it on 24. Yeah. 24 is not even Brown's on the not floor. not even on the floor. It's on Rosenbaum, his third. Team's fourth here. 2.02 to go in the game. Two-point basketball game here. Christian Academy, 50. West Washington, 48. Timeout here by the Senators. 2.02 remaining. Going to take a full timeout here. We're going to stay with you. 2.02 yeah. left. Senators down by two, 48 to 50. The, the Senators, you know, have some emotion. Yes. And that's something we haven't seen the fire, and they've showed it here tonight. And I tell you, we've been in so many <laughs> close ball games. Yeah, this is not something new for the Senators. We need to win one of these things. I know we, we've got the double overtime victory down at North Harrison, but um, we need to win one of these close games, and we've been in it with everybody. This team's 16-3, and three, folks. They're good. Yeah. And, um, you know, we, we've, we've toe to toe with them all night long. And uh, just uh, real close here, if we can get a stop here, this is going to be a real important possession. Um, can't let them go up by four. And uh, we've already got four team fouls, so this next one will put them in the bonus. Right. Um, I, I feel like this game's going to get tightened up. I feel like the officials are going to start calling this a little yeah. tighter than what they have been. 50-48 here, 2-0-2 remaining. Senators... Uh, down two. And I feel like Kenton's had a great game. You got to keep the ball in his hand. Yes, he has. I mean, he's uh, he's up to. He's got 20. He's got 20 of our 48 here in this game tonight and uh, just done a great job. And he set the biggest part of the second yeah. quarter. He didn't score. Losey to inbound for the Warriors. He'll get it into Doss in the backcourt. Under two minutes now, Doss with it. He'll get it inside. It'll go in there to Cook. Cook will wheel back out. Cook with it out high. Rosenbaum on him. And a five-second call. They'll go back the other way. Yeah, he stood out there with the ball for a long time. Yeah, so and Ian did a nice job of just keeping his hand in that zone, and that's all you have to do is yep. keep your hand in the zone. Colton Brown will check in for Williams. We still have Cameron on the floor with four. Yep. He's about the only, well, Ian's got three, but we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah. 
Kenton Chase with it. He'll get it off to Rosenbaum. Back to Kenton. Far side, it'll go to Russell. Now to Colton Brown. Colton with it. Looking. Wheels it out to Rosenbaum. Ian looks. Now kicks it back to Kenton. Kenton with it. On the attack, he blows by lows. He goes in strong, throws it up, and got it to go. Tie ball game, 50 all here. 118 to go. Renfro gets it across, runs into Brown, and he stepped on the out-of-bounds line. Good play there by Colton Brown. So Colton with a nice defensive play. Uh, Christian Academy folks wanted a foul on him, but it's the same play that came yeah. down the others. Same, same thing. So Kenton didn't get game. the call, so I don't feel like he's going to get the call there either. 106 to go. Rosenbaum with it. He'll flip it back to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it out high. I like Kenton one on one here. Yeah. He'll just clear the floor and let him take it. And I would just hold it down to the last second shot. Now he'll have to go on the attack. Gets it off to Rosenbaum, back to Kenton. Kenton, don't want to get a five second call like they did. He'll wheel around. Almost runs into Rosenbaum, now he takes off with it. He'll bring it back out. Wheels around, gets it to Rosenbaum. In with it out high, back to Kenton. Kenton with it. 20 seconds now. Gets it off to Russell. Russell back to Kenton. Kenton back to Russell, far side. Back to Kenton. And he gets fouled right there, which they've got fouls to give. Yeah, they've got a lot of fouls yeah, to give. But for Doss, timeout going to be called here with 8.4 seconds. It's going to be a full timeout. We're going to stay with you here. 8.4, yeah. game tied at exciting to leave. Yeah, I can't <laughs> leave on that. And uh, they've only got two team fouls, so they got fouls to give. Yeah. Um, so, you know, before we go to the free throw line, but um, I tell you, I think you isolate Kenton Chase. Yeah, Kenton's Ken, been the workhorse He's had the all line, hand. So. He's got 22 in this game. And, you know, if we can isolate him, Put everybody on the other side of the floor. Let him go one on one. Yeah, uh, I mean, especially let, if Doss is guarding him. Let I him think. try to get to the to the bucket. I mean, that's yeah. that's where he's that's what he's done all night. It's not any different. So, you know, continue to allow Kenton to get to the bucket. They're going to foul here. We're going to oh, see yeah, two more fouls foul real so, quick. So I bet we're going to see it with five they're, seconds or so. They're not going to let us have anything easy. No, you know. So we we have got to work the ball towards the hoop, but. You know, I, I think uh, you try to get this ball inbounds to Kenton and let him go one-on-one. -on -one. Hopefully, um, you know, they'll foul him in the act of shooting possibly. Yeah. And he'll go to the line. 8.4 seconds. Cameron looks like he will inbound the basketball right here in front of the senator bench, right in front of us as he'll throw it in. They'll set kind of a stack play up here, get it in the backcourt to Kenton. Eight seconds, five seconds. He drives, goes strong to the hole, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down. Renfro with a heave at the buzzer. Oh, off the, off the, of the rim. rim. He just about hit that. Yeah. And we're going to overtime, folks. 50 all. We're going to take a quick break here, catch our breath, and come back with this first overtime period as it's tied at 50 here on your home for Center Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Michael Long with American Family Insurance offers auto, home, business, farm, and life insurance, which includes motorcycles, boats, ATVs, UTVs, classic and antique autos, renters, manufactured homes, rentals, along with event coverage such as weddings, golf hole-in-ones, conferences, and much, much more. He's licensed in Indiana, Ohio, and Florida. For more information, look him up on Facebook to see insurance tips and to sign up for his agency giveaways. Michael Long, American Family Insurance, all your protection under one roof. All right, back here live, West Washington High School as we head to overtime. Your Senators in the seventh overtime game they've played this year uh, as they take Christian Academy down to the wire here and we head into uh, the first overtime period here, tied at 50, so we'll jump it up here. Cook will go up against uh, Williams here as we'll start this overtime period.
Officials set it. Ball will go in there. It's tipped and controlled by Christian Academy. Renfro will chase it down in the backcourt as he'll bring it across the timeline here. They'll get it off to Doss on the far wing. Doss gets it back out high to Chansey. Chansey with it, gets it off to Renfro. Renfro wheels around, gets trapped. Now goes down low to Chansey, out to Cook. Deep three-pointer, in and out. Rebound by Titan Williams, and he gets fouled. Yep. As Losey takes him to the deck. Second really foul a, on Losey. A good job there by Losey. He goes up and tries to get that one, but Titan being 6'4", yes. gets it before that, and then Losey's momentum takes it into him. So. So nice job there by Titan getting that rebound possession to the Senators here on that foul by Losey, his second, team's third here. He'll kick it off. Titan Williams with it, off to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum back out to Titan. Titan far side to Russell. Russell off to Kenton. Chase with it. Here in overtime, 50 all. Kenton Chase with the basketball, goes off to Titan Williams. Titan. Looking, gets it off, Cameron, now back to Kenton. He'll take it isolation against Dawes. Gets stopped down there, gets it to Rosenbaum. Back to Cameron, now to Rosenbaum again. Ian with it, pulls it out, gets it off to Kenton. Chase Kenton on it. that wing, he's yeah. really dangerous, that first step. He'll get it off to Russell. Russell, back to Kenton. It's pretty smart here. I think yeah. you, you just hold the ball and, and Try to get a layup or something here, and that's what the Senators are doing here. They'll go far side to Cameron. Jackson with it. He gets it back out to Russell. Russell. Oh, tipped and saved inbound. So yeah. a turnover there by the Senators. And Renfro will have it here. He'll bring it across. Goes one on one. Takes it, spins in the lane, throws up a runner. Can't get it. Rosenbaum. With the ball bounced off of him, it'll go back yeah. to West Washington here. Of course, Christian Academy fans didn't like that call, but it was off of uh, yeah. Chansey down low Chancy there. poked that one away. So Senators get it back here, 2.06 to go here in the overtime period. Kenton across the timeline. He'll switch out, Renfro on him. He'll pull it down, free throw shot, got it! And the Senators with a two-point lead here. 52-50, 142 to go. Cook will they'll call a timeout here with 138 remaining in this overtime. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. We're going to stick with you here. The Senators, you know, we said earlier it was going to Kenton. It's going to continue to go yeah. to Kenton. He's just having a heck of a game tonight, that pull up at the elbow. Um, you know, able to knock that one down. He's got 24. Yeah. He's he's been uh, been the guy tonight, and and didn't score the second quarter. That's what's amazing. It made and didn't really play, but the first two minutes of the second quarter. Yeah. Because he went to the locker room with something on his knee or something, but uh, uh, he's had a heck of a game here tonight. And uh, these are the kind of games that we know he's capable of. He gives the Senators a two-point lead here, 52-50. 138 to go here in this first overtime. Yeah, that this has been the game that we've been wanting Kenton to have all year long. Yes, absolutely. Doss to inbound for Christian Academy. They'll kick it in. They ain't scored in a while either, so they'll get it into Losey. Losey with it. He'll go off to Renfro. Renfro far side, chase on him. Cook now, they isolate him. Get it down low and it's stolen. Titan Williams with the steal. Turnover by the Warriors. And they'll get it back to Kenton. Now we just play hold ball. Yeah. I just hold it and make them come out and foul. They'll get it in the corner to Cameron, back out to Kenton, over to Russell. Russell back to Kenton. Kenton wheels around, back to Russell. Now back to Kenton. He'll drive dishes to Williams, wide open. And he scores it, four-point lead here. 54-50, under a minute to go. This is where the Senators have to be really careful and not give up anything underneath. Doss gets it inside to Chansey. Back out it comes. We got four fouls here. Renfro with it. He'll dribble. Draws a double, double team. Throws it over to Losey. He'll shoot a three off the mark. Doss, however, with the board, gets it back to Cook. And it's foul. Going to be called. 
That's going to go on the floor. It's though. not going to matter, though, because that's no, our fifth. They're so they're going to shoot it. Rosenbaum picks up his fourth foul. And that'll put Cook at the line. He didn't score in the fourth quarter. So he'll go to the free throw line, a chance to cut into this four point lead here. As he'll get a couple free throws coming. First one's up, and it's good. 54 51. So they check in Lawson. Yeah, he'll come back for some more speed for uh, Chancey. Second free throw coming here by Cook. Chance to make it a two point game. And he does. He hits them both here. Timeout going to be called by Christian Academy with 38 seconds. Going to be a full timeout. We're going to step away for a quick commercial break. We'll be back in just a moment. Some see a student athlete working on a shot. We see a powerful lesson in persistence. Some see a student preparing for success on an exam. We see a student athlete preparing for success in life. Proud to keep education in front of athletics since 1903. All right, back here live, West Washington High School here in the T. Kermit Tower Gymnasium is a rocking here on homecoming night. Senators up two here, 54-52 with 38 seconds to go in this ball game. Senators have possession as Cook knocks down two free throws here to draw them within a couple points here in West Washington trying to win one of these overtime games. Here's where it, uh, <clears throat> where it gets interesting. Yeah. You know, Holden Russell has had struggles knocking down free throws. Yes, He's he on the floor. He's one of your primary ball handlers. You know, do they know that? <laughs> I'm sure that they do. Uh, 38 seconds, and they're going to bring full court pressure here. So we got to take care of the basketball. They've only got three fouls, too. So they got uh, uh, one to give anyway. Rosenbaum will inbound as he'll try to get it in. He does. He gets it into Russell. Back to Rosenbaum. Now to Kenton. Kenton with it. Off to Ro uh, Russell, and he throws a bad pass. Stolen. Rosie will take it away. And just what you talked about, the, the freshman now, they'll pull it down. Three. Renfro from deep three. Not the shot they really wanted there. And Rosenbaum with a rebound, and he gets fouled. So he's going to go to the line. Yeah, no, because it's only the 14th oh, that's foul. Right. That's on number 10. That's Logston's first. 20 seconds to go here, so we'll have to inbound again. we got to take care of the basketball here. 20 seconds. 54-52, Senators up by two, and they'll inbound. Full court pressure here by the Warriors. They get it into Cameron. He'll go back to Rosenbaum, and Rosenbaum gets fouled from behind. They'll put him on the line. Yeah. With 17.7 seconds. Probably not a bad uh, foul for the Senators, you know, if you're, if you're talking about free throw shooters, Ian, yeah. um, you know, other than uh, Kenton Chase. Oh, no, I thought Jackson's out there, so third best on the floor. Yeah. Ian just has to step up there and knock both down. First one's up, and it's good. He knocks down the first. Makes it a three-point game. Titan Williams going to check back in a little offense for defense here. Senators pull everyone away from the free throw line. 55-52, Rosenbaum's second free throw coming here. It's up. He got them both. And now timeout by West Washington. 56-52. Yep. 17.7 seconds. We'll stay with you here as this game just been a whale of a basketball game yeah. here tonight as the Senators lead by four here, 17 seconds. You know they're going to come down and try to get up a good Yeah, they're going to try to get up a shot. three, yep. which we have to make sure we don't foul, foul. on Yeah, we've three. done that a couple times tonight. Right. Cook and has hit make a couple sure that way. if they come down the floor and get that three up, we rebound. take our time getting the ball out of, if it goes in, take our time getting yes. the ball out of bounds. Yes. We don't have to no, hurry that up. five seconds. You, know, yeah. you can take your time there and let that clock run. So, you know, the Senators have to be smart here, and I'm sure Coach Cummings is telling them that, hey, don't foul on a three. Right. You know, they're going to try to draw a foul here on a three, and that that's how it's it's going to go. My bet is Renfro gets the ball, and he's going oh, yeah. to try to get a Him shot. Him or Cook, here. you know, they're going to get it to one of those two. 
know that that's, that's the plan coming out of this timeout. 17 seconds. Senators up for 56-52. And, you know, we talked in our pregame. We had to keep this game down in points. Yeah. And we've done a good job of that um, here. So we've done made the most out of all our possessions here. And the Senators will uh, not guard the inbound, which is probably a smart move here, uh, just going about half court. So uh, Doss will inbound. He'll get it in. It'll come in to uh, Losey. He'll bring it up quickly as he gets it across the timeline. He gets trapped there with it, finally gets it to Cook. Cook will pull it down, drives the lane. They're going to let him score, and he does with 7.2 seconds left. And uh, Cook scores. He's got all their points here in the overtime. Yeah, that makes it a two-point game, 7.2. They're going to play the foul game now. Um, you know, foul and, you know, try to extend this game. What you need to do is you need to get it into Kenton or Jackson, your two best free throw shooters. Both are on the floor and both are ball handlers. So, you know, you don't lose anything by getting it into either one of them. Yeah, Cook with 28 points uh, in the game. He's got all four here in the overtime period for them. Two free throws and a field goal there. Uh, 7.2 seconds. Just got to inbound. You know they're going to foul right away probably and put us on the line uh, with a two-point lead. They, they've got to foul quickly. Um, so we'll be shooting free throws here. We've got to be real careful with this inbound pass. Yeah. Jackson Cameron. Jackson Cameron going to take it out. So To inbound. They'll put two guys on Kent. Well, no, they back off of it now. Kent spins, and they get it into Rosenbaum, and he'll get fouled by Cook. 5.7 on the clock. Ian's got to go back to the line and knock down some free throws. We're going to see Titan Williams yep. come back in. So Rosenbaum will go back to the line. So he'll step up there. I'm not going to say how he shot it tonight from there. So I don't want to jinx him. A couple free throws coming here. First one's up and it's down. 57, 54, a three-point lead here. And if he hits this one, I think you just back off. Yeah, back off. Let, let him go because you don't even have to inbound the ball. Correct. You know, just, just let him go if he hits this one. And he missed it. Rebound pulled down by Cook. They got a chance here. He'll bring it up quickly. Drives, scores the two, and we're going to win the game. He didn't yeah. realize that we were down one, and the Senators get a one-point victory here on homecoming night. Cook just took it straight to the rim. Didn't realize they were down four. Uh, yeah, they needed or down three. They needed a two pointer or a three pointer a three to pointer. tie it, and he took it straight to the rim. Just let him score. Yeah, and the Senators are going to get the win here, 57 to 56. 56, and we'll add things up. I'm sure Coach will come out. We'll try to talk to him here, but just a great ball game here tonight in overtime as the Senators win it here over the Christian Academy Warriors, 16 and four. Now they go down. Uh, to the Senators here tonight as a uh, great game by uh, Coach Cummings and the, and the coaching staff here. We'll take a break, come back as we add things up on your home for Senator Sports here, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Okay, I got five minutes on the so you got plenty of time. I think we stall it a little bit and get. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone. This is our weekly conversation with Paul Neidig, the Commissioner of the IHSAA. It's an extremely busy time, high school sports in our state. We are getting ready to crown our first champion in the winter sports uh, schedule this uh, very, very soon. Girls swimming coming up this weekend, correct? That's right, Coach. We'll be at the beautiful Nautatorium this weekend. Uh, we're world champions have been crowned many, many times, the home of Indiana's Olympians and others. But it, uh, girls swimming, we'll be at there. We'll be there this Friday night and Saturday. Uh, and actually, Coach, it's the 50th anniversary this year of our girls swimming state championship. So you know, as I think the the story goes, that you know Carmel will be looking to defend once again, and they have a strong team as right. they always do. You know, it's the quality of swimming in this state. Uh, we, we have kids that will be um, actually swimming for national records. 
uh, and we'll do that with the girls wow. this week, and in two weeks we'll mm-hmm. do it with the boys. I mean, it just we I mean world level athletes swim in our high school meet every year, and so um, it's going to be a great weekend. Also, we got wrestling semi states. We're getting closer to being down in Evansville for uh, the uh, championships in wrestling. First time down there, and I, I, I'm assuming right now people are just beyond excited about the prospects of the wrestling championship in not too many days. Oh, they are, and you know, Evansville's uh, my hometown, and uh, uh, well, my. Oh, is my hometown, but Evansville is where I live, and it's uh, that community is excited. They they're throwing out the, uh, uh, I mean, they've got keys to the city and the red carpet, and the and the shuttle bus has warmed up to put a great show on for the people that'll be visiting Evansville. Many people will be getting there for the first time, and the Ford Center will be a, a, an exciting place because mm-hmm. we anticipate sellouts for all sessions, and uh, you know, again, the quality of wrestling is really strong, and uh, right. Evansville is ready to host. Uh, I know they've been working hard and they're prepared for uh, they're prepared to put their best foot forward as we as we show up there in two weeks regionals and girls basketball coming up and as we're talking about championships we're also talking about pairing shows the boys pairing show will come up on the 19th of february and uh this weekend the semi-state pairing show coming up on ihsaatv.org tell me about the pairing show coming up for the girls semi-states yeah, Coach, it's something new that we started last year. And, you know, we had a slight tournament change, and it was met with, uh, I think, a lot of success. But on Sunday at mm-hmm. 2 o'clock, uh, we're going to have a draw show for the semi-state pairing. So we'll we'll hit all of our venues around the state, and we'll, we'll let people know who's playing in the 1A South and the 2A South and the and the subsequent tournaments in the north, and then we're going to lay out the day across this state uh, for how our semi-state's going to be. And it's uh, as a level of excitement, another pairing show for our, our participants to, to tune into. And Greg Rakestraw will break the brackets down as he as he can, and uh, we'll talk about uh, the tournament and, and the march towards Gainbridge Fieldhouse, home of the Fever and the Pacers. We had a great weekend last week with the sectional championships. I'm assuming from your standpoint, it was a successful beginning to a great tournament. It was. We had great crowds. I mean, our state, our staff was across the state attending those games, and I, I mean, I was, and I watched several on IHSA TV, and it, the crowds were just phenomenal. And you know, I'm always thankful that community still matters and people want to get out and support their local teams as they always have, and they're still out there doing it uh, in great fashion in this state. Don't forget, everyone, get out and support your student-athletes in your community. We have uh, girls swimming at the natatorium this weekend, wrestling uh, semi-states going on around the state, the pairing show for the girls' tournament, semi-state pairing show, 2 o'clock on Sunday, and the boys' pairing show, boys' basketball championship pairing show coming up on the 19th of February. Commissioner, thank you so much for all you do. Thanks for taking time. Enjoy the busy weekend, and we'll look forward to our conversation next week. Absolutely, Coach, and you have a great week, and we'll talk soon. Thanks for listening to The Commissioner's Corner with IHSAA Commissioner Paul Neidig and Coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. All right, back here live, West Washington High School. Senators with a one-point overtime victory here tonight as they beat the number three team in Class 1A, the Christian Academy Warriors, who come into the game 16-3. and three. Now at 16-4, and four, Senators improve their record to 7-11 and 11 as they, uh, they played a full game here tonight, and we talked about it in our pregame. So to run down the scoring uh, before Coach Cummings gets out here, for Christian Academy, they were led in scoring uh, by David Cook. He uh, he had seven two-point field goals, four three-pointers, three or four from the line, 29 points in the game. Renfro had um, one field goal, four three-pointers, one for one from the free throw line. He finished with 15. Um, and then uh, we had Losey with a two-pointer and Logston with a two-pointer. And then uh, we also had uh, Chancey who had three field goals, two or three from the line, eight points to give them their 56 on the night. The Senators were led in scoring uh, by Kenton Chase. 
Um, you know, an excellent game by Kenton. He finishes with nine field goals, one three-pointer. He was three of four from the line. Kenton uh, finishes the game with 24 points. Uh, the only other player from West Washington in double figures was Ian Rosenbaum. And I tell you, Ian made some great uh, free throw shots there at the end of the game to uh, seal this victory. He had three uh, field goals, six of eight from the line for 12 points. Uh, Colton Brown had two three-pointers, a field goal for eight. And then uh, Jackson Cameron with a uh, field goal and a three-pointer for five. And then Titan Williams with two field goals for four and uh, Holden Russell with two field goals for four to give the Senators their 57. They win it here tonight in overtime, 57-56. And joining us here on the postgame report, two of our uh, great uh, senior players here for West Washington, Kenton Chase and Ian Rosenbaum. Fellas, congratulations on the win. That's thank a huge you, win you. for you guys. Uh, Christian Academy coming in here, uh, number three in class 1A, 16-3 and three on the year, and you guys – Went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. I tell you, you guys started, had a great start to the game, and then second quarter, uh, you know, kind of went away. You, where did you go? We were, we were like, where's Kent Chase at? Yeah, uh, down there I got in a little scramble, and I popped my knee popped, so it scared uh, me a little bit. Yeah. It hurt a little bit to go up and down the floor. So at the end of the second half, Damien checked me out, but I think it was just something where – it, it just shocked me a little bit, but I was all right. Just had a little pop there. Yeah, and, uh, yeah we, we kind of lost you there in the second quarter, but uh, a great effort uh, for your team here tonight. And this is the kind of, uh, you know, game we've been looking for from you guys. I mean, you, you've been in a, so many tight games this year. This was, what, our sixth or seventh overtime game. And, uh, you know, we've only been able to get one of those uh, so far in tonight against this team a, a great effort and I really feel like your team start starting to come together here and that's what you want to see going into postseason you a couple weeks left here in the regular <laughs> season but Ian great job at the line uh, how, you, how was you. you feeling when you went up there I mean you shot a ton of free throws you were six of eight most of those coming uh, well all of them coming in the uh, second half had four there in the uh, third quarter and then in the overtime shot four three of four both uh, um, in both quarters uh, to kind of seal that victory there in overtime. But great job at the line. And also your defense tonight, you know, they've got two great scores in Cook and Renfo, and everybody knows that when they come in. But, uh, you know, Cook had 29, but we've done a good job on him the second half. Uh, Renfro got free, hit a couple three-pointers, but uh, – I think Cook kind of lost it there at the end. They needed a three to tie it, and he took it to the hole. You guys yeah. just backed off and said, let him score. But, um, you know, a great effort defensively from you guys in that second half to slow those two down and uh, and get this one-point victory. So, you know, I know it means a lot to you guys, and this is, this is what we've been looking for. And I've said it all year long. Um, you know, we're capable. We've just been this close. And to get over the hump here against a great team like that is just a – a great effort from you guys. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Anything Appreciate else it. you want to say? Any girls you want to say hello to <laughs> in there? Not that they're listening, but uh, you can say it anyway. I could tell them if I, <laughs> if I know who they are, which I probably wouldn't. Um, no, I'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty proud of our team. Uh, you know, I, that was a good team. Uh, oh. I, and it, it feels good to come into games like this because, I mean, in reality, uh, I don't know if you remember, two years ago we yes. came in here against Edinburgh, number – two team in the state took them to overtime we lost yep um we we were feeling the same thing about this game we we knew this this was a game where we had nothing to lose we really we really didn't have they they got a rank number three on their back right you know? and Absolutely. we we got nothing to lose so to come in here and just give it our all fight and take that number three off their back that, that feels pretty dang good well, like i said you know you look at you guys's record and you know everybody looks at records you know everybody looks at numbers but the record really doesn't show how good your basketball team is. When you guys play like you played tonight, I mean, we can play with anybody. There's no doubt in my mind. And we talked about it in our pregame a little bit about, you know, sectional draw coming up here in a couple weeks. Uh, regular season gets tough for you guys because your schedule's pretty tough here at the end. But, uh, you know, all these teams are beatable, and you proved that tonight here against them. Uh, when, when you guys play together like that and, and have a total team effort, I think you can beat anybody, and you guys got to be a team that everybody's going to be saying, I'm not sure I want to play them in the postseason, Absolutely. you know, yep. and, and I think that's a, a great testament to you guys. You've kept working, not let the record 
you know, alter what you were doing on the court. And I think that's a huge testament to you guys. And, and I know uh, you've worked hard to get here. And it would be great to end this uh, senior season, get a sectional uh, here to hang another banner here in the yep. gym at, at Kermit Tower Gymnasium. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, bounce what off Kenton said. Uh, we knew we had to come in here and play physical. We had to be had to be scrappy, and the loose balls needed to be ours. And I feel like uh, we won a majority of those loose balls you tonight. You did. And, uh, we and really you know, you had this one down here. And that, that was awesome. That was that a bad was call. Awesome. Yeah, that yeah. Was a great, it was a great jump because it went off of Cook. It bounced yeah. off of him. But they said you were laying on the out-of-bounds line. I don't know how that guy's seen it. He's as blind as I am. But anyway, great effort here tonight. Big win. And you're right, Ian. I think that was a big part of the game. You kind of out physical them here tonight. And there's been times when everybody, including myself, I've said, you know, we're just not physical. You know, we're not playing with that uh, with that kind of chip on our shoulder. And and you guys showed that here tonight. The grit, determination was there. You guys never give up. But you know, in these overtime games like this, and you've played more of them than probably anybody in the state. Uh, you know, you, you've got to show that. And unfortunately. In the past, games haven't went our way, but tonight it went our way, and that, that's a testament to you guys and great effort here. Yep, yep, absolutely. Thank you. Thank so you. proud of you guys. So keep it up. Yep, appreciate we'll see it. You Tuesday night at Orleans, we yep. can get another one. Yep, sure will. For sure. All right. We'll see you. Thank you, guys. So uh, Kenton Chase and Ian Rosenbaum joining us here on the postgame report as the Senators win it in overtime, 57-56 to 56, over the Christian Academy Warriors. Here we'll get uh, coach. Let them talk, and we'll get uh, the professor back in here real quick. But uh, great effort, uh, Craig, and uh, you know that's like the boys said. You know they know that they can do this. It's just a matter. We just haven't been over the hump, and we get over the hump tonight against a great team here. Yeah, you're exactly right. You know this Christian Academy team is a good, good, solid team. Um, they're able to. They've got two big scores. You know, do just a great job overall. And you know what? What more can you ask for out of the Senator boys tonight than to come out get a win on homecoming? Oh um, yeah. You know, Kenton Chase has a heck of a night tonight, scoring 24. 24. Um, Ian Rosemont all over the floor. You know, three or four times diving for balls. Um, you know, just overall, everybody does a does a great job tonight, and they come out with a win. Total team effort, and uh, the physicality was here tonight. We've questioned that at times, and I told the boys that. You know, I've sat here and questioned, hey, we're just not physical enough. But tonight, we were all over the place, on the floor, diving for loose balls. And that's what it takes. And, and we get over the hump here tonight, get a big victory over number three, uh, Christian Academy. So we'll be back on the air on Tuesday night. I'd love to go to that game. And I'll try. Yeah. I'm going to try to get away for that one because well. I would love to come over to Orleans and, and do that game. And, another ranked opponent oh, yeah. uh, in 1A. So doesn't get any easier for us, but these are the kind of games that, you know, get you prepared for uh, postseason play. Exactly, exactly. And this kind of puts a statement on the West Washington season. Hey, you know, sectional's coming up, and we may – our record may not be as stellar as what we were hoping for it to be, but you don't want to draw us first round of sectional. Oh, no. <laughs> we're, we're a team to be reckoned with. So that's all the time we have here tonight. Senators win it once again in overtime. 57-56. So for Craig Akers, the professor, this is Bubba Abbott. We say God bless you. Be sure to tune in tomorrow here on West Washington live stream for those uh, regional games here yep. at West Washington. As uh, as the professor will have those games for you here on the air on West Washington live stream and also WWSR. So for Bubba, for Craig Akers, this is Bubba Abbott. We say God bless you, and we'll send it back over to the studio. <laughs>